Terrence Crawford said he would knock out Mikey Garcia to Mikey Garcia's brother. Stay tuned. No, no. They're, they're talking, trying to make Mikey oh versus Terrence right here. You see behind me, Robert. And <laughs> Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. A lot of boxing on, and Top Rank had a card. Rob Brandt defeated Ryota Murata. It was a top ranked card in Las Vegas. Terrence Crawford happened to be in town. Bo Mack was doing some commentary work. So, you know, he probably came out to support his trainer in that endeavor. And Robert Garcia had a fighter on the card. You guys seen the clip at the beginning. And Terrence Crawford tells Mikey Garcia's brother to his face, his trainer and brother, Robert Garcia, you know Mikey can't take a punch. If Mikey fights me, I'm knocking him out. Now, this fight is exciting you know i did a video about it terrence crawford just the other day and it's funny how things work he just tweeted about mikey garcia because robert garcia recently did a video i believe with ellie and he said that mikey after watching the crawford jose benavides performance mikey would knock out terrence crawford you know crawford already holds a win over mikey from the amateurs but I guess Robert believes that Mikey is, is more advanced now and whatever he's learned over the years since they fought in, as amateurs would, you know, result and culminate in a knockout. Crawford has seen him and, you know, first opportunity of seeing him and it's all fresh, that interview that he did where he said that, where Mikey would knock, knock out Crawford and he, you know, he, he approached him man to man and just said, you know, that's not the case. We've seen Mikey Garcia get dropped and I believe he's talking about the Roman Rocky Martinez fight, right? He got dropped, got floored, put on his butt and he's like, you know, you know what I do to people. My thoughts are very simple, very basic amazing fight awesome fight Crawford undefeated Mikey Garcia undefeated I prefer this to Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence to be honest I'm not saying I have anything against Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia but to me I'm more intrigued by this stylistic matchup I like Errol Spence I like Mikey Garcia and I like Terrence Crawford but Crawford is relatively new to the welterweight division you know he had two fights both by knockout wins and Mikey hasn't fought at the full welterweight 147 that I know of so you know I think that's that's kind of they're they're both would be kind of newish versus Errol Spence has been fighting 147 to maybe 153 or so since the amateurs so you know he's a full-fledged uh, welterweight bigger and I just like the stylistic matchup and it's a chance for Mikey to avenge an amateur loss I don't believe Mikey and Errol Spence have previously sparred or fought in amateurs so that's my take on it i think it's an amazing fight i respect both guys good tactical fight uh it'll be a high speed chess match mikey is a, a methodical counter punching boxer but he showed he could be aggressive in fights with like adrian broner he had a, a crazy jab versus dehan's latician and i've seen mikey live a couple times i've seen Crawford fights live as media a couple of times, a bunch of times. I've, yeah, I've seen both of them live a bunch of times. And, you know, they always impress and put on good performances. Crawford looked surgical versus Jose Benavidez once he was able to find his range. I was at that fight in Omaha. It's an amazing fight for the fans. Two undefeated guys, you know. And Mikey keeps saying he wants the stern, strongest challenge. Errol Spence is definitely one of them. I think Errol Spence is kind of the man to beat. But with Crawford moving up, I think it's between those two, Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia, or Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Those are the, the guys to beat at welterweight to me, and they're both champions there. So you can't go wrong either way, you know, if Mikey wants a stern challenge. 
But the only fear is, you know, people on different sides of the fence and stuff like that. And what I've heard from Mikey previously, it sounds like he wants to fight Errol Spence more. Like he likes the style of matchup more because he previously did a video and said that basically Crawford is gonna move too much and he's gonna have to seek him out and he's gonna be running. So he prefers the Errol Spence fight. Those are almost his words, pretty, pretty verbatim, pretty close to that. So, you know, I, I don't really do the whole, He's a runner that run is boxing. You know, it's just like Van Dam and the Kumite. You got to figure it out. Different styles from around the world. Not everyone's going to fight alike. Not everyone's going to bring the fight to you. Or not everyone. You have a you have Golovkins. You have Canelos. You have Mayweathers. And everything in between. You know, Jamal and Jamel Charlo are fucking twins. And they don't even fight 100% alike. And they're brothers. You know, so same thing with the Klitschko's. Vitaly to me is even better than Vladimir Klitschko and they're blood brothers, you know, so why would we expect every fight, you know, to bring the fight to you? you, you some guys are going to be on the back foot, you know, Canelo versus Gennady Golovkin. He showed you two totally different game plans. The first fight, he languished on the ropes a lot and he was fighting off the back foot a lot. Second fight with Golovkin, totally different game plan. He was bringing the fight to Golovkin, didn't really take many steps back, you know, crowding his shit, you know, bringing the fight to him. So, you know, it's boxing. You got to figure it out. Whatever Canelo did, Golovkin was supposed to be the man to figure it out. So I don't really, I don't really accept that from when fighters say this guy ran or I lost because he ran. You know, you got to figure it out. Crawford's a, a amazing fighter and so is Mike Garcia. Let's see it. New media. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.